Hi folks, this is Andy here and welcome to my first Blender step-by-step -step tutorial. In the step-by-step -step tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to make a real 3D object from start to finish. Today we're going to make an actually a 2D eye, sort of like a cartoon eye that you could use for a 2D animation in 3D space. So I'm going to delete the default cube and press shift C to center the cursor and then shift A and then add a circle. Uh, we're going to want to look at this from the top view and then press uh, period on the numpad to sort of center over top of it. Now before you do anything else go over here to the uh, tool shelf and if it is not loaded and your screen looks like this, just press T to bring up the tool shelf. Um, I'm also going to turn on screencast keys so that you can get an idea of what I'm doing if I don't say it. But the first thing you need to do is click on vertices and change it to 8. It's always best to start with a low resolution and build upward from there. Now this is going to be our pupil. So what we need is a center dot and a connected line to each one of these vertice points here and in order to do that you want to change the fill type into triangle fan and if I press Z here and go and tab into edit mode you can see that this does indeed make sort of a triangle fan if the if the center of your eye does not look like this it's not going to animate properly and you're going to have a lot of troubles. So I highly recommend that when you put in your first circle you do this triangle fan. Now, this is going to be our pupil. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything. Then I'm going to go over here to the materials tab. I'm going to click new and I'm going to name the material pupil. Now, I'm going to click on the diffuse color and change it to black. But you can see there's still a shine here, and you don't want that on the pupil. So I'm going to go to specular and change the intensity to zero. And now it looks more like a pupil type color. I'll now want to assign this color. And now that I've assigned it, I'm going to deselect everything and now I'm going to show you a really cool tip now what you want to do is go into edge select mode and press alternate right click and you can see that I've selected the edge loop here let me zoom out some and I'll go ahead and extrude that edge loop by pressing E and then S to scale it upwards and I've already got an iris I haven't had to do anything and then I can use that same method in face select mode, alternate right click, and uh, I can select this ring of faces, which is my iris, and add an iris color material to it. And I want it to be blue, so I'm going to go over here to materials and click plus and then new to add a second material. I'm going to name this material iris, I R I S, and I'm going to make it blue. and that actually looks pretty good to me so I'm going to assign it let's see how it looks so far I'm going to press Z as you can see we've got pupil and an iris now all we really need is a white so just go back into edge select mode alternate right click so that just this outer edge loop is selected and do the same thing you just did press E to extrude and S to scale up and then all we have to do is add a white material to this outer outer part and we've got an eyeball so I'm going to go back to face select mode and I'm going to al alternate right click and now this is selected and then I'm going to go over here to the material tab click plus and new and I'm going to name this material white and I'm going to make it a little bit brighter and then I'm going to assign it and that's pretty much our eye. All I have to do now is increase the resolution. So I'm going to add a modifier. 
the modifiers tab is right here object modifiers click add modifier and go down here to subdivision surface click on subdivision surface and as you can see it already looks more acceptable this might actually be acceptable for a video game but we want it to look a little bit better for a cartoon so you want to look at subdivisions you can see it says view 1 render 2 so let's change the view to 2 and that to me is acceptable I don't think it needs to be any higher quality it looks nice and cartoony but maybe I'll turn the render up to 3 and that might uh, cover any kind of glitches we might see and this is essentially all you need to do to have a nice 2D eyeball to make for a cartoon but I'm going to go ahead and tab into edit mode and show you how you can manipulate this eyeball for animation. I'm just going to press A, deselect everything, and I'm going to change to edge select mode. And then I'm going to alternate right click on the iris. And as you can see when I scale it, you don't really have to do anything. You can scale it down or up and you can get that real expression. And you can do the same thing with the pupil. You can scale it down or up and you can do some really cool different types of animation with that and then of course every character is going to have two eyeballs so if you want to you can just tab out of edit mode and zoom out a little bit and then you can shift D duplicate it and a really cool thing here is when you duplicate it you might want to press control and you can it's a little hard to see but the eyeball is actually jumping in increments if I let go of control you can see I can it moves around more smoothly but this sort of snaps it to the grid so I'll make the eyeballs about that far apart and then I'll go ahead and shift right click so that both of them are selected then I'll press G to grab and I'll hold down control so that they snap to the grid and it won't really let them center so I actually might want to do this manually and then as you can see the two eyes are centered right here so I'll render this and see how it looks and then as you can see the the camera's not looking from the top view but it, it almost looks like two targets from this view but I can go ahead and get out of here and I can go into the front view by pressing 1 I like to change it to orthographic and then press R to rotate the eyes 90 degrees on the x-axis and now if I press control alternate 0 I just align the camera with the view so when I render now I'm looking at the eyes of course I should probably put the light a little closer to the camera so they aren't just two black spots so let me go to 7 to go into the top viewport zoom out a little bit and I'll right click on my light and I'll grab it and move it around where the camera is and that should pretty much ensure me that I'm looking at the eyeballs when I render it so F12 to render and I can certainly see them now I probably want them to be brighter than that so I'll grab the camera also and I'll move that uh, backwards a little bit but I'll select the lamp and in order to make it brighter it's almost like a dimmer switch you just go over here and this is, is the object data. Click on that. And as you can see, this is sort of an example of how bright it'll be. If you change the energy and drag it up, I'm going to drag it up until it looks nice. And that, that 5.04 looks pretty good to me. Let's see what that looks like in the render. And as you can see, now they're nice and bright and cartoony. So that's it for this tutorial. And I hope you learned a lot, and I hope you enjoyed yourself. And have a great day.